afternoon everybody we are still here with wellness wednesday and this afternoon's session is with nicola and she will take you through a cardiac rehab session so i'll pass her over to nicola thank you nicola thanks kate hi guys so you've got me again this week you may have seen me before in some of the sessions that we've done um, and we're going to do um, a simple home exercise circuit today so we're going to do some seated exercises and some standing exercises with variations throughout and um, different levels of intensity and, and different levels that you can work at um, so some of you may have done some of these exercises before some of these workouts before some of you may be new to them and um, hopefully if you've done them before you've enjoyed them and you keep coming back to do them and, you, and you're keeping them going regularly throughout your weekly routine so as always we always say make sure you only exercise if you're feeling well enough to do so don't exercise if you've had any change in symptoms certainly don't exercise through any sort of chest pain and um, keep an inhaler or gtn spray close by if you've had those prescribed of course if you've had any changes in symptoms or problems with breathing or breathlessness or swelling or fluid retention make sure you're contacting your heart for your nurses or your gp for a check up on that Otherwise, if you're feeling well, we'll get started. And like I say, it's a simple workout today. We're going to do some seated exercise. We're going to do a full body circuit seated to begin with. Then we're going to repeat it again and do that standing. If you find that the seated version is too easy and you want to start standing straight away, that's more than fine. Equally, if you find that the standing is a little bit too difficult or too strenuous, then drop it back down to seated. That's not a problem. You can always change throughout and there'll be rests in between each station where I'm explaining what we go on to next. So we'll do one minute worth of exercise and then have a 30 second rest. And in that 30 second rest, just make sure that you're keeping your toes wiggling or you're keeping your feet tapping or keeping your feet moving. That's really important. Keep some water close by, have a sip of water whenever you need to um, and do take a rest if you need to throughout the workout. As always with these, they're recorded, so they'll be available at a later date. So if you do find that you want to add a little bit more on, then you can rewind it and do a little bit more. Or equally, if you want to stop a bit sooner, you can always pause the video and then stop a little bit sooner. That's absolutely fine. In terms of how you should feel when you're exercising, we want to aim to be getting to a level of comfortable breathlessness. So you're still able to hold a conversation. You're not completely out of breath. You're breathing a little bit deeper. You may be working up a bit of a sweat. But if somebody came into the room and was talking to you, you'd still be able to answer in full sentences. If you're getting past that point and you're gasping or you really feel quite short of breath, then make sure you slow it down, sit yourself down if you need to and catch your breath. So we're going to start with a simple warm-up as we always do. Really important to get that warm-up in and get the cool down at the end. So never skip those exercises. If, you, you know, if you're short on time, put a little bit off the main workout. Always make sure you've got a good warm-up and a good cool down at the end. So I'm going to pop some music on. Hopefully you might hear it a little bit better today. Sometimes it's a little bit quiet. I've shifted the laptop around. I've turned it up a bit. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to start the warm-up today then seated. So since the first exercise circuit that we're going to do is seated, I'm going to do the warm-up seated. But equally, if it is too easy, then by all means, start your warm-up standing straight away. Like I say, there's going to be a lot of variations with people who are watching these videos. So make sure you always tailor this to your own level. Okay, so let's get started then with a little march on the spot. We want to just gradually get the body moving, get the heart rate up, get the body a bit warmer and the breathing rate up a little bit as well. And as always, if you want to make the exercise harder, you can add some tins of beans, tins of soup, bottles of water. Um, if you've got the sort of two litre bottles of milk, you can fill those up with water. So you're increasing the weight a little bit if the tins of beans are getting a bit too easy. Then try those instead. And with the workout, you want to try and pick a level that you can maintain for the minute. So we'll do it for a minute and then have a rest. And if you're finding that that minute is too much, then lower the intensity of the exercise down a little bit. Okay, so let's tap the heels forwards and backwards now. Again, just alternating those legs. And if you need to rest at any point, you can bring your feet back to this point, you can bring them back to a march, or wiggle the toes. Try and avoid stopping altogether. 
that can sometimes leave you feeling a little bit dizzy, a little bit lightheaded. We want to keep that blood returning up to the brain. So keeping those legs moving. Doesn't matter if you get the legs mixed up on this one as long as they're moving. That's what we want. Okay, now let's alternate a pivot from heel to toe. So we start with the heel, tap to the toe, and then back. So we're just pivoting on the ankle. We'll do 30 seconds one on one foot and then 30 seconds on the other. You don't have to do it too fast. You should feel a nice little stretch in the leg as well. Okay, so we'll put that foot down and we'll go left foot now then. So start with the heel, tap to the toe. Back to the heel, back to the toe. Again, if any of these become a bit difficult, just take it back to the march or take it back to the heel tap. Okay, so now we're going to take it out to a side tap. Okay, so starting with the right foot and then bringing the left foot out. So just to wherever's comfortable, if you struggle with knee or hip problems, you don't have to go too far. Just a small tap is fine. And if you are doing these seated, try at all times to keep your posture nice and upright. I know I'm looking down at the floor now, but if you can do it, if you can look straight ahead and keep your chest upright, that's what we want. Try and avoid slouching in the chair. So we're going to go back into the march now then. So just marching those feet on the spot, either seated or standing. Your legs should be feeling a little bit warmer now. And then in a moment we'll get the arms moving as well. bicep curl with the arms okay so the arms go up leg goes out just take this to a nice steady pace try and get that coordination going but again if you get mixed up it doesn't matter if you need to just keep the feet a bit more still or just wiggle the toes or tap the toes that's fine We should still feel nice and comfortable with the warm up. We shouldn't be too out of breath at this moment in time. If you are, then slow it down and take it down to seated. Okay, so now we're going to go up and down to the side. Now, this is a little bit more difficult to do whilst your feet are moving. So, as you're doing it, try and give your toes a wiggle in your shoes. Keep 
keeping the breathing nice and steady throughout. So try and avoid holding your breath on any of these exercises. Okay, then in a moment we're going to go back into the heel or toe taps and we're going to take the arms into a chest press. Okay, so let's start by moving the feet first, forwards and backwards, and then we're just going to push the arms forwards and backwards at the same time. So we're not using any weights for the warm up, we're keeping this nice and light. So if you've ever heard of the RPE scale or rating of perceived exertion, we want the warm up to be around 11. And the main workout to be around 13. So 11 being light, 13 being somewhat hard. Or able to maintain. So picking that pace that suits you. Okay, so we're going to bring the arms down now and we're going to give the ankle a bit of a roll. So let's roll for 30 seconds one way and then we'll change and roll the other way. A few cracks are normal, but it shouldn't be painful. So if it is painful, just take it back into a march. Okay, and we'll change direction. If your legs getting a bit tired, feel free to pop the leg down, give it a little shake, a little tap, and then carry on with those twists. And then let's lift the other leg now. So we'll do one way and then 30 seconds the other way. You'll always find it's easier to go one way than the other. A few more seconds and then we'll rotate it the other way. Okay, let's change. You should be feeling a bit warmer now. Your legs should be feeling a bit warmer. Okay, we'll pop that foot down now. Let's just do a few heel taps just to loosen those legs up. And as you're tapping forwards now, try and just stretch a little bit further. So you're bringing the heel up and the, and the leg out a little bit further. If you need to shuffle to the front of your chair, you can do, in order for you to get that bigger stretch in there. We'll do one more either side. Okay, now let's do five shoulder rolls backwards. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then let's go five forwards. There's one, and two, and three, four, and one last one. And that's five. Okay, give your arms and your legs a little shake. And we're going to get started in just a moment. Okay, so hopefully you're feeling a little bit warmer now. If you need to have a sip of water, have a sip of water. If you need to grab any weights or you need to grab anything else for the workout, grab those now. I'm just going to get a couple of tins of beans, which you've forgotten to get out, which I may use later on, I may not. And then we're going to get started. So keep those feet moving. Okay, so like I say, for the first 30, I'm going to do this one seated. It, it's up to you. If the seated options are too easy, 
then start standing. But if you want to start seated, run through it all once seated, and then if that feels comfortable, move on to the standing option for the next circuit. We're going to go twice round. If it's too much, just stop at once round. That's absolutely fine. So first one we're going to do, then we're going to shuffle towards the edge of the seat, and all we're going to do is some knee raises. So we're going to try and raise the knee as high as is comfortable for you. So if you suffer with hip problems and it's difficult to get your knee up too high, just do a small knee raise. Okay, so we're going to do a minute of that with a 30 second rest. So let's start. Right leg first, raising and lowering those knees. Pick a pace that feels comfortable for you that you're able to maintain for the minute. And in order to regulate your breathing, sometimes it's best to count out the reps. So count the numbers as you're doing them. You could even note them down. And if you come back to this one again, see if you can better those numbers. But over halfway. Keeping those knees going. Ten more seconds. Last one. Okay, so we're into that first rest. So keep your feet moving. Don't just stop all of a sudden. Keep them wiggling and wobbling. So next one, we're going to do some bicep curls. If you want to use some weights for these, you can do. You don't have to. So what we're going to do is take the arms up and down as we sat down. And if we can, we're going to keep the feet moving as you're doing it. So they can rock toe to heel. You can side tap, wiggle your toes, whichever you want to. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Let's go. If you want to take it out into a heel tap as you're doing the bicep curls, that's always a good one. If you can do that, try and get those moving. Remember to keep your chest nice and upright. And as you're doing your bicep curls, try and avoid swinging the arm all the way back. So it's a controlled movement. As soon as your arms get level with your side, bring them back up again. And we're aiming to touch the shoulders. Doing really well. We've got 10 more seconds on this one and then we're back into another rest. Last one. Okay, so we'll pop the weights down for the next one. And what we're going to do is a bit of a back tap. So on this one, you need to shuffle to the front of your seat. Hold on to the seat if you want to for a bit of support. We'll keep your posture nice and upright, stomach nice and tight. And all we're going to do is push the feet a little bit further away from you and bring them back in. Okay, so we're going to alternate, bringing it right in, then left in. So you want a couple of feet length in front of you, and then we're going to bring it back to touch the chair. Okay, so let's start right foot first, and then left foot. So we're bringing those feet in. Might be a little bit easier if you sat on a dining chair to bring your feet into the middle of the chair rather than kicking the, the legs of the chair. So this is your seated option. We can do this standing and then we can progress this into a lunge or a back lunge if it's too easy. If you choose to do the next circuit seated as well, just try and pick the pace up a little bit. So as we're moving through the workout, you're finding that the intensity is just getting that little bit more difficult, but still able to maintain it. Okay, we've got five seconds. And last one. Okay, so keep those toes moving and catch your breath. Have a sip of water if you need to. The next one we're going to do is your side raise. So we did this with the warm up. But we're going to try and do it now with some weights as well. So we're going to raise and lower the arms to the side, just down to level with the chair and back up again. If you want to, you can take a foot out as you do it, out and in. 
see how you find that. Okay, so if you want to start with the sideways on its own, let's begin there. So let's go up and down. Again, you can do this standing. Try and keep the feet moving in some fashion. If this is a little bit too easy, you can try and coordinate it with that side tap. So out and in, out and in. You can do this seated or standing. If that's too difficult to coordinate, take the tap out. Just use the arms with a little toe wiggle instead. If it's too difficult with the weights, tins of beans, dumbbells, bottles of water, take them out. Do it without the weights. You'll soon feel this one on your shoulders. I can feel it already. Ten more seconds. Okay, last one. Perfect. So weights go down again. Give those feet a wiggle. Small sips of water. Try not to gulp the water down. Okay, so the next one we're going to do then. We're going to do the side step on its own this time. Without the weight, but we're going to do a reach across the body. Okay, so tapping out. But as you're tapping out, we're reaching side to side. So we're trying to pick up the pace a little bit now. So that one was a little bit slower. So now we want to go a little bit quicker on this. So we can tap out with the right foot first. Left start. So right foot out, arm across the chest. So you're going in the opposite direction. So whichever way your foot's going, your arm is going across the body in the opposite direction. Again, you can hold the weight if you want to make it that little bit harder. Or you can reach overhead if you wish. So you can do this one like a seated half jab. So we're going up and down, side to side, overhead. You can have a really good full body workout today. You'll be feeling it afterwards. Okay, 10 more seconds. And one more. There we go. So back into that rest now, giving toes a wiggle. Next one, then we're going to do simply a march on the spot. So we can do this seated again, we can do it standing, or you can take it into a shuttle walk up and down the hallway or up and down your room, gradually increasing that pace as, as the time goes on. If you want to bring in a swing with the arms, you can do that while seated or standing. So you've got a couple more seconds rest, and then we'll get started. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to give the arms a bit of a swing. So you, you're taking more into a power march, a power walk. Sometimes if you struggle with hip problems, it can actually be a little bit more uncomfortable, uncomfortable to do this one seated. So if you feel like it's hurting your hips a little bit and you want to do it standing, maybe you want to hold on to the chair for some support, that's fine, that's not a problem. Try that, it might be a bit more comfortable for you. We're over halfway. We've only got a few more exercises left and you finish the first round of this circuit. And then if you wish to, you can stay on and do the next round where we're going to be standing. Five more seconds. Okay, brilliant. Take it that rest now. Next one we're going to do then is the upright row. So I'm going to use the weights again for this one, but you don't have to. So sometimes these sort of slot together nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the arms down straight. So we're going to lift them up and take them back down. It can sometimes be a little bit tricky to do this one seated because your knees can get in the way a little bit. It doesn't matter. We can start there and bring them up. Bring the elbows poking up to the ceiling. Okay, so let's start then. So up and down. Weights or no weights, it doesn't matter. If you've got things like resistance bands, they could be good for this one as well. Try and keep those toes moving. This is really good for all the top of your arms and your shoulders. Okay, 
We're halfway on this one. If two weights is too much, you can hold one weight in both hands or use no weights. Almost there, less than 10 seconds left, and then you're into a rest. Last one. Fab. Okay, so this is the last one we've got now for the first round of these circuits, and then we're going to repeat it again. So we're going to do a car phrase. So as we're seated, I want you to raise up onto your toes and back down. Lift your heels as high off the floor as you can do. If you can pull if you can get cramps in your legs, lower the, lower the heels down a little bit. Okay, so let's start then. Up onto your toes and back down. Onto the toes and back down. As you raise up onto your toes, just hold it there for about a second and then drop it back down. If the bottom of your legs are your car to get a bit tight or a bit tender at any point, just give your ankle a little roll. Same with the other one. Have a little tap, a little march, and then get back to it when you can do. So we're over halfway. Raising and lowering those heels, just to wherever's comfortable for you. Five more seconds. Let's do one more. Okay, brilliant. So that's round one done then. So the next round, I'm going to do standing. If you want to keep seated for the whole thing, you can do that. You can stay seated or you can mix it up. You can start standing and go to seated or vice versa. So the first one we started with then was the knee raise. Now, if you want to use the chair for some support on this, you can. We can raise the knees as you're doing that. Okay, I'm just going to move these weights out of the way so I don't hit them. And we're going to get started now. So right knee first, raise and lower. You don't have to use the chair. If you feel like you're stable enough and you want to make it a bit harder, you can take the hands off the chair. Or if you just want to take one hand off the chair, just so you've got a little bit of support, that's fine. Just again, raising the knees to wherever feels comfortable for you. seconds on this one. Keeping those legs going. If you need to start lowering the knees down a bit, if your legs are getting a bit tired, that's fine. If you need to just take it down into a march, that's fine. Last one. Okay, so rest again. Next one I'm going to do is the bicep curls. So I'm going to do this standing now with the weights. You can do it standing without the weights if you want to. And I'm going to try and add that heel tap in again. So just as we did when we were seated, we're going to do the same but standing. You've got 10 more seconds left to be rest, and then we'll get started. Okay, so right foot first, tapping out. Again, try and keep the arms nice and in line with the body. So as you're doing it, you're bringing them down and stopping there. So you're not swinging them all the way back. You're stopping whilst they're level with the body. Nice and controlled movement as always. Steady breathing throughout. Keeping this movement going, 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. Last one. Okay. So, next one we're going to do is your back tap. 
So standing, hands are going to rest on the chair, and we're going to tap back to wherever it's comfortable. Okay, so a little bit of a bigger stride than I just when you did it seated. That's the next version. If you want to take it into a small lunge, you can also do that. Just a nice bend in the legs. So I'm going to start with the back tap, right leg first. Let's go. Tapping on the, on the toe with this when you have one foot your heel now, you can keep the knee off the floor. Fifteen more seconds. pages on Facebook and YouTube as well. So a whole variety of things out there for you that you can watch and join along with. Almost there. And one more. Perfect. Okay. You should feel those in the arms. I know I did then, definitely. We're going to use the legs and the arms again for the next one. So we did a sort of half jack whilst we were seated. So we're going to try and do that standing now. So we can either do the tap with the reach, or if you can, let's do the half jack. So the arm is going just over the head, just to wherever it's comfortable. So you've got five more seconds before we start. Okay, right leg first, let's go. Pick your level. And see if you can complete it for the minute. And if you're doing these ones at a later date, not live, obviously then you've got the option if you feel like you need more of a rest, just pause the video and you can take a little bit longer if you need to. If the arms are getting a little bit achy, you can always drop them down to the side and reach if you need to. We've got 15 more seconds on this one. Do really well. Good body workout this one is, good full body. Two more. Last one. Perfect. Give it those heels a little tap, having a sip of that water if you need to. We've now got your front raise, okay? So, this time, we're going to do this up and down, but as we do, we're going to bring the heel out and back. Okay, so we've got five more seconds with that rest. Okay, so let's tap the right heel first, raising the arms up and lowering them.
Weight or no weight, pick that level. Arms up to shoulder height, but if it is that you struggle with shoulder problems, you can always take them a bit lower. If it's uncomfortable, don't push through it. You should definitely feel a little bit warmer now. Breathing rate should be up a little bit, but hopefully you're still comfortable and you can still hold those conversations. Five more seconds. Last one. Perfect. So your next one, then we're going to go back into the march. So we can march on the spot. We can bring in the arms. We can start to raise the knees up a bit higher so you've really got that power march. Or you can do a shuffle walk up and down your room or down your hallway or out in your garden if you wish to. Hit that level, you've got five more seconds. Okay, so I'm going to start with a power march on the spot. Okay, so as I'm marching, I'm going to bring those arms into a swing. If you want to get the legs working a little bit more on the spot with this one, you can do a couple of marches in the middle and then you can do a couple of marches out to the side, back to the middle, out to the side. Pick that level that suits you and the one that's working you at the right level. So the one where you feel like you're doing something, it's not too easy, but it's also not too hard to maintain for the minute. You've got 10 more seconds of this one. Okay, last one. We've got two more exercises and then we're all done. Well, apart from the cool down, that is. So we're going to go back to the upright row again now, then. So, like I said, if you want to use two weights, you can. If you want to put one weight down, and hold one, you can do just with one. Let's see if we can get these to slot in again, there we go. So I'm going to do it with a little bit of a march and we're going to go up and down, okay? Let's start then. Elbows up, so as you're doing it, you're pulling the elbows up to the ceiling, you're not keeping them tucked into the sides. We're moving the whole arm up and down. Try and keep the feet moving as well as you can be. And again with this one, try and keep them close into your body. So you don't have to be touching, but you don't want your arms being lifted up out here. You want to bring them in nice and close to the body, elbows up as you do with it. Ten more seconds left. One more. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to go back into the car phrase. So I'm going to use the chair for this one, just to rest my hands on for a little bit of support, a little bit of stability. So. We're going to raise up onto the toes and back down again. Up onto the toes and back down. Five more seconds resting and then we'll get started. Okay, let's start then. Onto the toes and back down. Trying to keep that chest nice and upright if you can do. Eyes looking straight ahead. Now, I've just realised I missed one exercise out on the last one, so I'm going to add one more in. I thought we were all done, but that was me getting mixed up. So we've got one more and then we'll cool down. Over halfway now. Just 
Should start to feel this in your calf by now. We've got 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do one more then. We're going to do your sit stand, which we normally do every time, but I forgot about this time. So we'll do one minute of a regular sit to stand, and then we'll do one minute of a split stand sit to stand, which is a bit of a tongue twister. So first one, sitting yourself down, feet hip distance apart, arms across the chest, elbows lifted. That's your starting position. We're going to stand up and then back down. Let's go. Up and down. As soon as your bum touches the chair, stand back up again. Really good for your big leg muscles and the muscles in your bum. We want to try and get all these big muscles nice and strong. Try and keep your chest upright on this one. So some people have a tendency to lean forward as they stand. We don't want to do that. We want to imagine you being pulled up through your body, pushing all the way through your heels, chest is upright. If you can do it with your chest upright, it's working your legs harder. If you have to lean, it takes the pressure off your legs a little bit then. We're almost there. 10 more seconds. You should be feeling this in your legs by now. Let's do one more. Okay, brilliant. So we're going to do this split stance, sit to stand as your final one now. If your legs are a bit too tight and you don't want to do it, you go straight into the cool down. So start marching on the spot. We'll tap your toes for the next minute whilst we do this one. So we're going to do 30 seconds each leg. So I'm going to start with the right foot, just slightly in front of the left foot, feet still hip distance apart, arms across the chest, elbows lifted. Okay, let's stand. So as you're standing, you're putting a little bit more of the pressure through the left heel at the moment. You're pushing up and you're driving through those heels. And if you keep your feet hip distance apart, it's still giving you that supportive base. Five more seconds, so we'll do one more. Okay, then sit yourself back down, switch legs, so right foot goes back, left foot just level with the right toe, and we go again. My chair starting to sound a bit creaky now after all these weeks of doing this. I think I need to take my chairs. So let's do one more then. One last one. Brilliant. So we're all done with the main part of the workout, but really, really important that we start to cool down steadily now. You've had a good full body workout there. Your heart rate will be up a bit, your breathing rate up a bit, feeling a bit warmer. So we just want to bring all that back down nice and steadily now. So again, we can do this standing or we can do it seated. What I'm going to do is start standing for the cool down and finish seated. Okay, so we're going to start with a march on the spot then. So we'll do a few of these exercises standing and then we'll finish them off sitting down in the chair. So the cool down is going to bring your heart rate down nice and steady, bring your blood pressure down nice and steadily, stop you from feeling dizzy or faint, which can happen sometimes. If you're going for a, a good walk or you do one of these workouts and you're working quite hard, heart rate's up a bit, breathing rate's up a bit. If you just stop all of a sudden, you can get a feeling of dizziness, a feeling of lightheadedness. And that's because your blood pressure and your heart rate can drop quite quickly through the medications that you take. So we want to try and avoid that from happening. And you walk and your pull down is allowed to feel easy. Certainly easier than the workout. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're going to go out into the heel tap again. So right foot first, bringing the heel in. Just getting a nice little stretch in those legs as you're doing it. should start to feel a bit easier now, a bit more comfortable. Okay, and in a moment we're going to go right into the side tap. So we're not going to do any arms with this one. We're just going to tap the right foot out and back. And left foot and back. toes tapping and as I've said a few times throughout these workouts there's a lot of different variations and everybody that's watching will have different levels or have different um, levels of fitness and also different conditions as well meaning that some people might find some things easier and some things harder if you're unsure about anything that you're doing or you're not sure whether you should or shouldn't be doing something by all means speak to your cardiac rehab team and they can give you a bit more specific advice as well so there's loads of different exercises that you can be trying. These are just an example of some of them. Okay, we're going to go into the back tap now then. So we're going to put both hands on the chair and we're just going to take the toe out and back in. So we're not going too far now in this one. This is just moving the leg ever so slightly. We're not doing a back lunge or a full step back. We're just tapping those toes behind. And if you're new to these videos or these workouts and you've only just started doing some activity, it's not uncommon to feel a little bit achy tomorrow or the day after. That's quite normal if you've done a bit more than you normally do. As you get a bit stronger as the weeks go on, that should start to subside a little bit. But equally, as the weeks go on, if these workouts start to feel comfortable or too easy, then you want to just put the little the intensity a little bit or the pace a little bit. Okay, last one. So we're going to go back to the chair now then. So just bringing the intensity down a little bit more again. So we're going to go back to the march on the spot. Just a small raise off the floor now. Nice and upright again on the chair. seconds of this and then we're going to take the heels out again. Okay, so let's take a little shuffle to the front of the chair again and we're going to stretch the right leg out and back in. Left leg out and back in. Now if you want to get a little bit more of a stretch on the legs when you're doing this one, as you reach, you can reach down a little bit to the toe. It doesn't matter if you can't touch the toe. If you can, you might feel a good stretch there, but if you're not quite that flexible in the legs or the back, it doesn't matter. If not, we're just taking the foot out and back in. Just nice and steady now on this one. Okay, 
Okay, so let's do one more. And now we're gonna go into the heel and toe pivots. So just a small movement, and heel to toe, heel to toe. We'll do that for 30 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other leg. Do one more on this foot, and then bring that in onto your left heel to the toe, heel to toe. One more of those. Now we're going to raise the arms out and up and back down. Let's do that once more to the side and up and back down. Once more up and back down. Let's do five rolls backwards with the shoulders. That's one and two and three, four, and one more. And then let's do five forwards. One, two, three, four, and one last one, five. Fab, well done guys, you're all done there then. So brilliant workout there, full body workout. Like I say, there's different variations. If you come to it again and you want to complete it all standing, by all means do so, or if you want to up the levels a little bit, there's loads of options there for you and loads of other videos available on all the different pages that you can find there. So hopefully you found them useful and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thanks Nicola for another brilliant session. Take care. Thank you.